iOS 8 has been officially revealed at WWDC 2014 and boasts several new features and some great interactivity within the also announced OS 10 Yosemite. While the look and feel of iOS 8 is broadly similar to last year's iOS 7, Apple has made some impressive upgrades behind the scenes with some cool new functionality added. First up are upgrades to Apple's Notification Center. You can still pull down notifications from the Today View, but iOS 8 also allows you to respond to banner notifications as you receive them, no matter which app you have open. Next up comes changes to Spotlight. Move to the top of the screen with iOS 7, Spotlight has been made even more intelligent on iOS 8. It now not only searches on your device, but also searches the net and offers suggestions based on what you've typed. Taking a leaf out of Android's book, iOS 8 also introduces smarter word suggestions with QuickType, with predicted text appearing just above the keyboard. Not called HealthBook, but HealthKit, this serves as Apple's hub for health tracking and fitness apps. It also plays home to Apple's own monitoring app, Health. HealthKit groups together other health and fitness apps, such as Night Plus, which is adapting to fit into the new Health Hub, making HealthKit a one-stop shop for your personal fitness and health data. Incessant notifications from group message threads are set to become a thing of the past, as iOS 8 enables you to set message thread notifications to do not disturb on individual threads. As predicted, Siri gets even smarter with iOS 8, with Shazam integration, so any song will be identified, and you'll be able to purchase the song within iTunes immediately. Apple has thrown in even more editing features, with auto cropping, auto straightening, and smart editing for light and color all on the Photos app. Finally, the App Store looks like it will become a whole lot friendlier, with a more intuitive scroll system to replace the current swiping. While developers will be able to get their hands on iOS 8 from today, the consumer version for the rest of us will be out in the autumn.